What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we got another new song which is Vroom Vroom by Boogie with the Hoodie, Don Q and Trap Manny. So uh, this song is definitely uh, very nice to play. I got some nice guitar part going on. I'm, I'm super excited to show you because uh, it's kind of very easy to play and sounds good. So therefore let's get started and definitely this is the most accurate guitar ritual. Or maybe out there in Europe. I'm actually sure that this is the most acute version. Uh, just gonna provide you everything with the tab break and everything. And believe me, this is super simple. But the thing is, you need to have one keypo. Without the keypo, it's gonna be a bit hard. So make sure that you put the keypo on fret 9. Yeah, we got a little bit high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A little bit high. No uh, kind of problem. Uh, the high it actually makes it easy and sounds cool. So let's have a glance at the chord shape. It's the same thing going through all the whole song, but you need to know the basic thing. First chord is an A minor, which is mute, open, second, second, first to open. Then we have a C major, which is 3, 2, open, uh, mute, 3, 2, open, 1, 0. And uh, D major is basically played like this, mute, mute, open, second, third, second. Now, uh, you know uh, the scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this is a C. If you just bring that whole shift down to C sharp, D, it's a D. So C, D. Just know this for your knowledge. And then we have E minor, open, second, second, open, open, open. That's it. Uh, let's get started, guys. Uh, we're going to put the key on 9 for if you have forgot. So now have a look at the tab. Put it, uh, Hold the A minor chord. Uh, now we basically use, uh, I play the A string open with the index, uh, with the thumb, then D string with the index. See, I'm actually having that A minor chord right now. So open, index on the G string, middle finger with the G string, I mean, uh, uh, G string with the middle finger, and ring for the B string. Uh, uh, this actually sounds e uh, like it looks easy for me, but you can just choose your own way. So you got, and after that on the B string, in the single stroke, what you will do is, you will do a hammer on and then a pull up in a single stroke, which is one, two, three, with your pinky I'm doing, because it's free right now. So, a little bit fast, so good. You move on to the A minor chord, E minor, sorry, E minor, hold the E minor chord, and you play the E string, thumb, D string index, G string, middle finger, and then you again do a hammer on, but this time open the third fret on the B string and then a pull off back to open. So we got, and therefore we are actually having the ring finger to play the B string. So we got. So we just gonna play this whole sequence, what you can see in the tab, we just gonna play that two times. We just gonna play that two times, alright? So let's play. One more time. Well, next time, have a look, we just hold that A minor chord and we do. We play the A string open and after that we have G strings, B string. High E string, you can see my fingers, in the, this time I change my finger. Index finger for the G string, middle finger for the B string, middle finger for the high E string. And I uh, plug all the notes together, you can see everything in the tab. It's in that A minor chord. And after that, so we got... How do you do that? Again, you repeat that thing which you did before, which is... Uh, just forgot, but I think it goes for uh, uh, for one more time. So it goes for one more time. I'm pretty much sure that it goes for one more time. Uh, playing the one more time, you just move on to the uh, C and the D major. So now you hold the C major chord. So just hold the C major. You don't have to put the B string first fret. Uh, so we play the A string, D string, G string, D string. We come to that D major shape over here, which will be four on the A, five on. Uh, I mean five on the A, four on the D. We play the A string, D string, after that we actually put that index finger down on the second fret of the G string, uh, we play that, and then we go back and play second fret on the D string, I mean fourth fret on the D string, it'll get a lot confused, so it goes like that, nice and easy, so just have a look, uh, just practice a little bit, you can even strum the chords if you want, you know the chords, you, know you can just do anything you want, but make sure you follow the sequence. basic chord progression let me play that uh, from the beginning a couple of times it will be crystal clear for you guys I just want to say one thing is uh, make sure you check out other videos and obviously uh, this channel is not too old it's actually new 
uh, it's growing in this quarantine so make sure you put me uh, just give me one of these uh, subscribe because I'm always uh, regular you can check out my videos uh, I've done mostly all the songs or drop a comment down below check out the community app because there's all something good news out there uh, and most places are going to come out yet uh, let me play that one two three four I'll see you guys back in the next video. Learn bye.